Is Red Hair not a scam? This is a very serious question and accusation that a lot of people tell me on my videos all the time. I think it's an interesting statement, but if you just do a little digging, you'll figure out that the argument kind of falls flat on his face. For one, we haven't paid into the game, so how can it be considered a scam? Sure, it may feel like they're leading us on, but what's the end game here? What's the payout? Is all the information that I've gotten for people nothing? Is all the voice acting that the people did for the game nothing? Is Void Interactive? Reaching out to YouTubers, nothing? Did Dan Liston, the new composer for Ready or Not, get hired because the last one got fired for leaking images from the game? Not mean anything? I find it hard to believe that this is some elaborate scam or an elaborate joke. If you agree or disagree with my assessment of this, you know, situation here, can you tell me in the comments? I would really like to know. If you think it's a scam, can you explain why? Alright, moving on. Is Ready or Not dead? Short answer, no. Long answer, no. We have a plethora of information that has been given to us by the devs on their Discord and Reddit. Don't believe me, just read the FAQ. Not only that, Void Interactive just hired Easy Street. Those of you that don't know who Easy Street is, he's the guy who created the SEF mod for SWAT 4, basically making it 10 times better than the original game in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, no, don't shoot him, don't shoot him, he's surrendering. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna watch this door. Uh, I got him, I got him. Goddamn killers! Those Police. white shirts. Uh, ah. Over here! Down, down. Uh, okay. It'd be really odd for a dead game to hire a guy like that. So here's a question for you. Do you think the game is dead? Let me know in the comments below. Because we're going to be pushing on to the next question here, which says, Has the game lost its hype? Well, for me, yeah, it has. I used to literally stalk this game for any information that I could find. I would literally lose sleep over this game. And now that it's kind of gone quiet, I've been taking it easy. Because I know that it's very unhealthy for me. So in a, in a way, the quiet, quietness has actually kind of helped me. I think that the game has lost hype, but not so much that people are just going to run away from it. Because Void Interactive is literally the only company that's making a game that's kind of like the SWAT series. No other company is doing, you know, a game like this. So in a way, they have the market cornered. So if they were to actually ever come out with the game people would just swarm that unless some other competitor just comes out of nowhere and just you know sweeps up all the fans like actually right now would be a perfect time for a competitor to literally come in and just be like hey we're selling the same thing except ours is finished i mean don't get me wrong if like if the game was to drop tomorrow i'd be like oh my god i'm gonna go play that right now so my question to you have you lost hype? I mean, me, I'm definitely not as enthused as I used to be, but hey, I still, I'm still gonna get the game. That's pretty much all I have for the discussion. I think the last thing that I wanna leave you with is an assumption. I don't think the trailer's gonna be coming out this month. It pains me to say this, but from the way that things have been going, I just don't think it's feasible. Especially when we look at a comment by one of the devs that was said a while ago, but reaffirmed just recently, which says, we have a hard date set internally for when to expect the trailer. It would definitely be cool to share but unfortunately it's probably a better idea if we don't share any dates until the trailer is in the editing phase and when we know it's going to drop this comment was said a while ago but it was reset by easy street and uh, the last time that i took anything from easy street it turned out to be false so i, I don't know take this one with a grain of salt but this just really opens up the door for a lot of questions. If this is true, then this basically goes back to what I said a while ago, which is games like Ready or Not usually take three to five years to make. So at this point, it's just a waiting game. I just really hope that I'm dead wrong, but I don't know. Well, that's my video. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye